Why you should stop applying for remote jobs right now? If you think that by applying to 5 to 10 remote jobs every day will help you to land a remote job, let me tell you, you are very wrong. This is an old style to land jobs, especially remote jobs. The market have changed a lot, so if you're still using the old techniques, just applying for jobs and waiting, it's not gonna work out. My name is Juliana Rabi. I help professionals to land a remote job in 90 days. This is my YouTube channel. You're very welcome to follow and subscribe to see every week new videos related to LinkedIn, to remote jobs, to career change, to resumes, to job interviews, anything related to career. I don't know about you, but I do remember the times when we used to print the resumes in a, in a piece of paper and go in person and deliver them to the companies we want to work for. Maybe you're not that old to remember that, but you might remember the times that online applications became fashion and then suddenly instead of printing the curriculum, the resume and go in person, deliver them, we start applying for job offers online. And this has been going on up to now, but it's not as effective as it used to be. Applying online is what everyone does at the moment, meaning that there is nothing special about you if you just click send and send your resume, your cover letter to the company you want to work for. Think like that. If you just do what everybody else is doing, there is nothing special about you. <laughs> Sorry to tell you that. And I agree that in some cases, you still need to apply for the job, probably most of the cases, but this is not what's going to make the difference. This is not what is going to help you to effectively stand out from others and be seen as the best candidate for that company. I want to be very clear about that. I have nothing against having a great resume, an amazing LinkedIn profile, tailor your cover letter. No, no, I'm, I like those things. Uh, this is one of the services I provide to my clients, but I know that this is not the only thing that will help you to land a job. This is like maybe 10, 15% of the process. All the rest is what I want to talk about in this video and are the most effective ways to help you to move ahead in the recruitment process and be chosen as the best candidate, the best fit for your dream job. Okay, Juliana, I get it. Curriculum, resume, LinkedIn profile, cover letter, they are important, but they are not the main thing in the process, right? Yes, you got it right. So you might be wondering, what do I do instead? Yes, let's gonna go deep into it. There are so many things you can do instead. So first of all, try to create a relationship with someone from the company you wanna work for. And when I say relationship, it can be perfectly online relationship. You can engage, you can connect with the recruiter in charge of that position, colleagues that work in the same area or in the same position that you want to work for uh, the, your future hiring manager. So create a connection with those people and start having a conversation with them even before you apply for jobs or so parallel to applying for the jobs. People are most likely to um, pay attention and read with better eyes, more open to, you know, like your profile if they know you already, if they have seen you in action. And in, by in action, what I mean is they have seen your content on LinkedIn, you have exchanged messages, maybe an email, you have engaged into some kind of uh, interaction with them prior the job application. So when you apply for a job, it shouldn't be the first time that the company hear about you. It should be like, oh, I know this girl. We have been exchanging emails for a while. It's good that she applied. It's just like a natural step of the process, but not the first time the company hear about you. When you apply for a job, you can send your resume, um, you know, put the link to your LinkedIn profile, send a cover letter, but on the top of that, there are other things you can do also. For example, record a video to introduce yourself in a different way, show your motivation, talk specifically to that company and say, how can you solve the problem that uh, they have at the moment? So it's a nice way also to differentiate from other and don't do just the basic. The basic would be apply here, click here, send your resume, uh, copy the link of your LinkedIn profile. So the video is one step ahead. Also, the follow up is extremely important. So between interviews, follow up to say, that you are still very interested in the position to add something that you might have forgotten 
in the interview or in the previous interaction with someone. So make it a conversation, make it like a process. It's not like I send my curriculum and then I sit and wait forever and I do nothing in between and I just cross my fingers <laughs> and hope they are going to contact with me. No, no, keep the conversation going, interact, engage with the company about your application process and always adding value to show, to confirm, to demonstrate that you are the best option for that position. Another great way to be remembered by the company you are applying for is to engage with the company's content on LinkedIn. It can be with the content that they post on the company's page on LinkedIn. This is one option. It can be the content that people who work in the company posted. So let's imagine you did an interview with a hiring manager for a position or you know he is the hiring manager for the position you are applying for. So apart from sending your curriculum and applying for the job, try to engage with that person on LinkedIn. So if this hiring manager posted something on LinkedIn and if you have something to say about that content, please go ahead and do that. Engage with the post, comment, reply, share, and always add value to what you do. Remember that LinkedIn will give you a lot of visibility, so you don't want to be seen as a dumb person, as something that pff, that, that comment has nothing to do, that comment didn't add anything. No, no, you want to be seen as an expert in your area, as someone that can definitely add value to the team. So be smart, be strategic about the kind of uh, comment that you make, but this is a great way to be seen by strategic people in the company to be remembered and to show your expertise, to show your knowledge um, outside of the resume context. If you have any kind of portfolio, podcast, YouTube channel, anything uh, interactive, anything that is online that you can also share with the company, please go ahead and do that. Don't put all your uh, hopes, all the value only in a piece of paper in the curriculum or online version. I mean, you got me. But the more you diversify, the more the company can see you in action, the more the company can see how you act, uh, the topics you talk about, how you add value and all of that. So make sure you share with the company you want to work for other aspects of you like online channels or um, an event that you participated in, an interview that someone did with you, a podcast that you were interviewed, any kind of social media that might add value to your profile and show you in action can be also very interesting to share with the company. Those are a few ideas of things you can do apart from applying for a job. Remote jobs are very competitive at the moment. The market is booming for that and companies can be very picky with the kind of people they want to work with because, you know, there is a lot of people open to this opportunity. It doesn't mean that they are qualified. It doesn't mean they are ready to do that. It doesn't mean they will perform well. But at the very beginning, there are a lot of applicants applying for every single remote job. And instead of being scared and pull back because you see a big number, like 500 applicants, 1,000 applicants, just brief, take it easy and think outside of the box. Try to find ways to, apart from applying, do other things that will connect in a different way with the company, show you as the best option and engage more in a way that it's almost impossible <laughs> for the company to say no to an interview with you. Do you have more ideas about how to stand out from others and do things that are more effective than just applying for a remote job? Please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear also your thoughts because there are so many ways and I just cover a few of them in this video. If you like this content, please go ahead and follow my channel every week, a new video to help you to land your remote job. Think like that. If you just do what think or you know he's the right the hiding one. Those are a few ideas, those are. When you apply for the jobs, 